Aloha, good morning. This is your Advent Ardi. Today we're going to talk about the two biggest things you need to have to be consistently producing really well when you are in sales or in any form of business, really. So, thanks to those of you for joining. I'm here from beautiful Kauai. I'll give you a shout out if you let me know where you're coming in from. Um, so, um, we are going to talk, uh, lots of people joining here on my personal page, better put my glasses on. Hey Miriam, hey Zanette. Um, if you, especially if you type in the comments where you're from, I'll give you a shout out. Um, Anna Marie, all the way from South Africa. Talking today about the two biggest things you need for consistent production. And if you get value from what we're sharing, please tap the screen and give us hearts and likes. And also remember to um, also share this if this gave value to you to other people on your Facebook. So it's a cold, cold morning here in beautiful Kauai. Um, but I'm still in a short sleeve shirt. That's our cold here, right? When, when we feel chilly with this. So let's get right into this. Um, so the two main things about consistent production. This is number 9 and 10 of my series of 20 essential skills that you need to be a consistent performer and to be an outstanding salesperson. Um, however, today we are covering the two most important ones. And while we're at this, remember at 4 p.m. Um, Hawaii Standard Time, which would be 9 p.m. Eastern Time on the East Coast, uh, we are doing a webinar. Uh, we are posting about it all over on our profile. Um, and you can send a message to be added to it um, on how and how to do get a virtual assistant and of course first place why you should get a virtual assistant and how that could totally change your life. So um, my light's a little bit bright so I think I'm going to keep my glasses on. Um, the two essential skills. Number one, mindset. Number two is skills. So I'm going to talk about the second one first. You need to hone your craft, as they say here in America. You need to work on your skills. And there are several ways to work on your skills. Number one, reading. You should always be reading a book. Um, whatever field you are in, you should always develop yourself more and develop your skills. And you should always be listening to something. And for me, there's podcasts, there's YouTube videos. And for me, the, the number one thing is Audible, you know, to, to um, listen to training on Audible. Whenever I'm working on something, I'm always reading something and listening something, and I'm always working on something more mindset and something more skill related. And that's exactly what we're talking about. So right now, I'm listening on Audible to Marianne Williamson's uh, audiobook, Return to Love. That is all mindset. Um, my book that I'm physically reading is How to Read People, um, where I'm honing my craft and working on my skills. You should always, and then when I'm listening to um, podcasts, um, I like doing the, the Tim Ferriss podcast and, um, and Tony Robbins podcast, and a lot of that has to do with skills and um, just social knowledge of what's going on in the industry. So why are those, so first of all, let's get the skills, right? Um, take any athlete for that matter. They practice relentlessly to get better at what they do. And the more they do that, the better they get. Gary Player, famous South African golfer said, the more I practice, the luckier I get. <laughs> and you, you, you need to be relentlessly practicing the best in the industry work really, really hard on their craft and really, really get to know their skills well. So if your skills is to be in selling for that matter, then you need to be reading books about sales and sales skills and get as good as you can on it. But you can't just read it, you have to apply. That is the key, guys, is not just to fill yourself with all this knowledge, but to go and apply. Then. Once you learn to apply, you should really go back and revisit that again. 
um, Tom Hopkins, one of my uh, real estate trainers and a very well-known sales trainer in America, says that you need to read or listen or watch something six times for it to really sink in and become a part of you. Now, I would admit that um, in a lot of his stuff, I did do that with. <laughs> And um, a lot of my other things, I really repeat that. Um, there are some books and stuff that I only go through once and I take the best stuff and I summarize. But every now and then I go pick up a book again and I go through my notes on it or my highlights or the, the, the little bookmarks that I made in it. And you need to, so if you don't do that, you know, then you're really not getting to apply. Um, if you just reading one time and you start applying it, but there's so much in a book, for example, if you don't revisit and revisit that because you'll always pick up more, you're never really going to be fully utilizing that book. And maybe the book don't speak to you that much um, or is not that helpful to, so of course, don't return to it. But to like, for example, Brandon Burchard's uh, Top Performer Habits, um, I love going back to that from time to time in reading my notes on it and and especially the highlighted parts and, 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 and pages that really hit home for me hard, I actually fold the corner of the page so it's very easy to open the book up again and go back to it. Um, when it comes to listening stuff, in, in general, I if, if an audiobook, audiobook is very valuable to me, I listen to it at least two or three times. But I listen to it in short periods of time typically on my drive to work, 10, 15 minute drive. And in that, those few minutes, you really, really um, can, can absorb so much more than when you're listening, like for example, an hour at a time, because we know our concentration span is really not that great. You know, in college classes is 40 minutes at the longest because people can cons consistently concentrate for longer than that. All right, so keep working on your skills all the time. Now, let's get to the big one, mindset. And I don't know how many people are still on here. Um, but anyway, um, here's why, why the number one thing is you can have all the skills in the world. And it's important to have that skills. But if the mindset is not there, then you're not gonna perform. Now, here you can take that from any of the top athletes. What separates the, the top from the, the very top from the top? Um, what separates um, Roger Federer, um, Rafael Nadal, um, Serena Williams, um, in his, in his, in his, in his heyday, Tiger Woods, um, and I'm just naming a few people, uh, Tom Brady and the New York Patriots. I know that I'm touching a sensitive subject here. <laughs> uh, what separates these guys, these athletes from others that is very talented as well. It is preparation, skills, and in mindset, and consistently working on their mindset and absolutely believing they can do it. Uh, we know that recently Serena hasn't done that well because she has had some mindset issues. Got mad, threw a racket on a court, set a bad example, and we know before she was the ultimate mindset queen so to speak so if you don't have the mindset of believing that you can do this and believing that you are good in it but also at the same time being humble and being respectful and being grateful that's a big key is to be grateful and feel blessed um, you will never be the top performer or be the top salesperson or in the top category if you don't absolutely believe what you're doing and absolutely believe that you can do it and that you are very good because it comes through to you. So, you know, a lot of you know that I, um, I'm in vacation ownership sales, which can be a tainted industry. However, I work for the number one company in the world and my clients are top level people. And I spoke with somebody yesterday and he said to me that's the first time he's attended a presentation in maybe 20 years and he said to me, you really believe what you do? And I said, yes, why do you say that? He says, I can just tell. 
I know that, he said, and that is so critical. And you're one of the best salespeople. And I said to him, well, you are not putting your credit card down, so obviously you're not, I am not good enough. And I was just kidding. But it was just not a fit for their lifestyle and for the way they do it. So to get to that next level, it is absolutely imperative that you work on your mindset on a daily basis start with being grateful in the morning i highly recommend the, the the gratitude app every morning i fire it up and it actually reminds me and i put in what i'm grateful for from the previous day and the day or you can do it in a journal just get in the habit of doing that that sets the tone for the whole day <laughs> when you start with gratefulness and then i i connect to 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 my god i read my bible and i pray and and then I read a little bit or I listen to something that will make my skills better or work on my mindset. Then I get a couple different emails and those couple different emails are absolutely geared to my mindset. Um, and then from my two, two of my mentors, I get um, daily videos that I watch, which as they, it depends what they are talking about that day because it's either to do with skills or with mindset. So I do fill my life in my head um, with really good positive things all the time. And so to, to get an idea what I get from mindset every day is the daily stoic um, um, tidbits on an email from the daily stoic and from the daily nosh, I get some, some spiritual. And then my mentor, Ray Hignan, I get his videos every day. Um, it's a network marketing, marketing ends. And, um, and uh, prospecting, recruiting mentor. Um, and then Darren Hardy, very, very well known um, mentor to a lot of people. And all, all these guys come from the Jim Rohn school. Um, Darren talks a lot about, most of his stuff has to do with mindset. Some with skills, but most of it is with mindset. Um, and then, like I said, I'm listening to um, Marion Williams' Return to Love, which I really like, you know, and even if you're not a spiritual person, it is really good to listen to that. And my book that I'm reading, that is quite outstanding. Then at my work, um, Marion does a really good job of sending out a daily, a daily skill set or mindset piece with explanations and actually high quality stuff. So all throughout the day, I pretty much feed myself with something positive. Now, enough talk about me. What is it that you do? Um, what do you think people like um, Roger Federer, which is arguably the best tennis player of all time, do you think that he just worked his, on his fitness and he's serving and his volleys and all of that all the time um, and his flexibility or do you think he worked on his mindset a lot i bet you he worked on his mindset a lot a lot of these people have a coach that just work with him on their mindset and so yes we are going a little bit long today however it's probably the most important video of the series and might be my most important video of the year is that if you want to be consistently a top performer. You've got to have skills and you got to work on it consistently. And you got to work on your mindset consistently. Not just one time, but consistently. And then you will consistently perform. I hope this gave you great value. This is Johan Van Arde. I'm signing off. And if you want to get more on my website, johanvanarde.com, or you can also type in rugbydude.com. On our blog, there are tons and tons and tons of articles with video clips on how to improve your skills and your mindset. Um, one of my essential skills that I really like to share is my social media recruiting blueprint, which is just so many things in there for your everyday life. It's when you're talking to people and you can grab that free. It's on the main page on my website. You can sign up for it there. So go ahead and grab that. And if I can help you with anything or there's something specifically that you want to know, send me a message um, or type something in the comments below 
and I'll redirect you to something like that on my blog. And if I haven't, I will make a video about that and I will tag you in the video next time so you can see what my answer is to that. Take care guys, aloha and God bless.